Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate comfort food, chicken pot pie. For the ingredients, you're going to need pie crust. I got this store-bought pie crust. A cup of chicken tenders, cubed. A cup of potatoes, diced. Five tablespoons of butter. One third cup of flour. Half cup of milk. A small onion, diced, two cups of chicken broth, and a cup of frozen vegetables. You are also going to need salt, black pepper, and cooking spray. First you're going to add water to a pot and then cook the potatoes. Go ahead and heat up a pan with some oil, add in your diced onions, and then cook for about 15 seconds. And then you're going to add in your chicken, cook until it's no longer pink, and then season with salt and pepper. When the chicken is all cooked, you can go ahead and place it into a plate and set aside. After the potatoes have been cooking for about 10 minutes, go ahead and add the frozen vegetables to the same pot and cook for another 5 to 10 minutes until they're all soft. Next, you're going to melt butter in a pan. Add in the flour and combine. And then add in the milk and mix well. Season with black pepper to taste. And then you're going to add in the chicken broth and mix well until it's fully combined. Now add the chicken to the pan. And when the vegetables are ready, you're going to drain the water out and then go ahead and add that to the pan as well. Then season with salt and pepper to taste. Grease a baking pan with some cooking spray and then go ahead and get your pie crust. Take one layer and then put it on the bottom of the baking pan, making sure that you push the sides towards the pan so that it sticks. And then you're going to fill it up with the chicken filling. Then get the other layer of the pie crust and then just place it on top. Make sure you sure that you tuck it in with the other layer and then just go ahead and make some folds all the way around. Before you put it in the oven, we're just going to mix some slits. Bake the pot pie at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. It should be a golden brown color and it could be oozing out. Let it cool down for a little bit and then you're ready to serve. Enjoy!